Good morning, everyone. It's Monday the 26th of August, and here in the UK, that means it's a bank holiday or public holiday. So there's no work today. So I'm chilling. I don't know what time it is. Maybe about half eight in the morning. Jeff got me up at half six, so I'm chatted. But, you know, I'm going to take it easy today. I have so far got six orders to pull. I'll show you those later for eBay. Um, happy with that. Would like some more. Not going to lie. I mean, there's not huge profits on them, but it's all profit. Um, one's a camera. There's a fair few bits of clothing. Most of it's clothing. Four pieces of clothing. And the other thing is some rubber ink stamps. Yeah. So I'll show you those when I pull them. But today's just going to be a chilling out day. Jennifer's playing in the corner. With her blocks, I think. And I'm just chilling. I'm watching Treasure Hunting with Jeebus. Because he's got some lottery tickets. And, you know, it's just easy to sit here in bed and watch it. I've already watched Garage Flips. So, which is my first one I watched in the morning. It sounds like Paul's getting up. So, I'm going to go make a cup of tea and cup of coffee. And I'll see you all later. So it's a lovely day. The pool's empty. Apart from a little bit of drip of water that's just dribbling into it. And I'm going to fill it up, so... Because we're going to go in it this afternoon. So we've got a cup of tea. And there it is. The hose is going. And... Yeah. I'll just have a little chair and I'm just going to sit out here for a minute. Oops, excuse me. It'll cool up a bit. It takes a while to fill up, but oh, it'll be nice this afternoon. So I'll show you a bit later on. So you can see it's quite a big pool. I've been sitting here for 15 minutes just over and it's still not full. In fact, because our garden's on slope, it's not even touching the corner at the back, but it's nearly there. Oh, it looks nice. But as you can hear, probably in the background, Jennifer's having a bit of a screech. So I'm going to have to go and see what's going on there. Hopefully I can just leave the pool and it'll be all right for a little bit while I can check out what's going on. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, it's not even cold. Oh, well. Well, pool's as full as it's going to be. Pool's made it outside. Say hello. Mm -hmm. Jennifer's here, aren't you, Jen? Uh, yeah, we're not going in the pool to after, uh, this afternoon. We were playing with the ball, but she keeps throwing it down into the corner. But Oh, that water looks nice. As you can see, there is a slight slant on it. But that's because we're on a hilly garden. Because we live on a mountain. <laughs> I bet, Paul, you wish you could get in there, don't you? Yeah. He can't, sadly, because of his leg. Oh, there's a ball. Go hmm. throw the ball, Jen. Good girl. Uh. You want mommy to get it? All right then. Jennifer's exploring the garden. She found a plastic ladybird or ladybug if you're in the states. Don't put it in the pool. Ladybird. Say it, put it on the table. Woo, it fell off. Good job, it's only made of rubber. Don't worry, it's not broken. It's made of rubber. It's fine. It's a plasticky thing. See? Careful over there, it's all uneven. You know you don't like it. We're going to put our shed up the top there when we get it. Eventually. You don't like that bit because it's uneven, you keep falling on it. Granddad's not here. No, you can come. You can go on the grass like your Kate went. Oh, sweetie. Yeah, it's not that bad. Do you want me to come and help you? Okay. That's the hose pipe, but it's switched off, so you can't do anything with it. Oh? You play with your ball.
And you like throwing things around. You do it thousands of times. You shouldn't. Good girl. Yay. <laughs> well done. We're in the pool. Got our sun lotion on, are we, Peanut? And you want your ball? Daddy, push the ball. It's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> He's a good girl. You are a good girl. Yeah. Is it nice? Good girl. So I've just been pulling the orders for this weekend. And there's one downstairs and that's the camera that's sold. So I sold the, these rubber stamps is 10 and I sold them for a tenner. This is a Therese m &S jumper. I think that went for about a tenner. This went for about eight, uh, six quid and it's just a warehouse. Very thin top. And then there's this, uh, again, another m and Puna sheer over shirt in a sort of deep red colour. This brown Bowden cardigan, beige, well, brown and cream. And this next dress sold for £17 plus shipping. Everything's got shipping on top. And then I've got this one jacket, which I sold for a tenner. It should have gone for more. It's in lovely condition. It's white stuff. Men's jacket. Um, but that's going out as well. So that's everything apart from the camera, which is downstairs. So I've got eight things going out tomorrow, which is really, really good for me. I'm very happy with that. Obviously, the more sales, the better. But um, some of this, this has been hanging around for a while. This has been hanging around for a while. It's one of the earliest things I've bought. The rest of them are not so much. A couple of months maybe, but I'm glad to see the back of them all. <coughs> I am burnt. Again, you can't see it, how pink I am. I think it work, looks worse on this armlet. You can see how red I am. Um, even with the fact of 50 sun cream on, I still burn. It's horrible. I'm going to go and get this lot downstairs and then when Jennifer's in bed I will print out my labels and get them packaged up. So quite a good weekend, quite happy with that, would like more but then wouldn't we always. So good morning, it is now Tuesday the 26th, 27th, I have no idea, I've got a thing. Twenty seventh. Twenty seventh. It's the twenty seventh. It's payday on Friday. That's always good. And we're at nursery, ready to go. Jennifer's not happy. She doesn't like being stuck in the car. Sounds has to have bought a, a new handbag because mine has fallen apart. So this is it. Here yeah. just the Connell and but it's Debenham's one. Because I needed one and I thought well, let's treat myself. So today's plan of action is obviously drop Jennifer at nursery, go to work. Then we gotta to go to our usual tax sale post office because we've got our eight parcels to post. They're in the boot. I put them in there last night before I went to bed. So it was done. And then we're gonna have some lunch with my mum and dad. And then I'm gonna try and get some sleep because it was so hot last night I couldn't sleep. Literally got up at three o'clock and I haven't been and I just dozed off around six on the sofa and then woke up at ten to seven after having breakfast. I'd had my breakfast and then it was time to get ready to go out. So yeah, chat it today very shattered. Now Jennifer, who was a good girl, slept all night. So there we are. Happy with that. Right, I'm going to take her in now and I'll see you later. Bye. Hi guys, it's Tuesday evening. It's getting on. Must be nearly 10 o'clock. I've forgotten to vlog today. It's just been one of those days. Obviously I didn't sleep very well last night so I was really shattered. Uh, when I got home, Jennifer had to sleep so I put my head down for an hour or two. And then I've just been just pottering around the house. I've had two sales today, so I'm really pleased because I sometimes can go days and days without a sale. Um, nothing really high value. Um, literally, I was at work and I checked my phone and then about five minutes later, I checked my phone again and a sale had come through, so I was really happy. And then I got another one a bit later on, 
which was an item on offer but i'm happy with that because i'm in profit with everything now so i don't mind taking offers i bought four items today one skirt and three tops i think um i've got one more tat sale before my major photo in uh on friday so i've got one on thursday because obviously if i've got something to post i will go to the tat sale on a thursday if i haven't got anything to post i don't on a thursday I go to my mum's um straight from work but i have obviously excuse me i'm still tired got stuff to post which is great just two items i'm hoping to get some more sales i have listed five items tonight i'm about to go and measure a few items so i've got five to get drafted well i need four to be drafted i've got one ready tomorrow and i'm going to try and do some photo in tomorrow um if i can i'm just watching jordan the lion at madame two swords in new york uh, and I'm going to crack on with some work before going to bed. I just like to make sure Jennifer's asleep before I go up because I pop my head around make sure she's okay. Paul's got the fracture clinic tomorrow afternoon. My dad's taking him down there because obviously with Jennifer, uh, the Royal Gwent's not the easiest place to park. You have to, there's never any parking in the car park by the hospital and it's a, it's not a long walk and I've walked it many times when I was pregnant with Jen. But with Paul on his on his foot, it's it's just too far, and having to get her out and then have to go and find him. So my dad will take him down tomorrow, and he'll get a taxi back for his um, fracture clinic. We're hoping he'll get a cast off tomorrow. And he might get a boot. Um, fingers crossed, it's all good because I know he's fed up and he wants to get out and about a bit more. Um, it's still quite hot here today. It's not as hot as it was yesterday. It has cooled down, but it's still quite warm so yeah i just thought i'd give you a quick update on today I'm just gonna go and do some photos oh, not photos some measuring and get some brief titles down so what i do is i've got a notebook i measure an item i, I put the title in so what it is what size it is what color it is whether it's short sleeve or long sleeve if it's got 100 percent cotton if it's got cashmere alpaca silk whatever it goes in the, in the title and then if I can think of any a few keywords, I do the length and the pit to pit measurement. Obviously for a chest, you just double it. Um, if it's top, if it's a dress or a skirt, it'll, it'll have the waist as well as the length uh, or hips, depending. And same with jeans, it'll be inside leg and waist. And sometimes the rise. Um, then in the next one, we put um, the contents. Uh, so the care label information so uh how how to clean it is it machine wash is it dry clean only is it hand wash so on what it's got in it is it cotton silk viscose polyester and then if i've got the country manufacturer i put that in as well and then underneath that i put my SKU number so it's easier for me to find um so i'm doing box q at the moment i have been looking at sheds because we need a shed for the garden so we're, it's going to be big enough to put jennifer's outside toys in as well as some of my boxes of stock it's mostly for jennifer's toys because she's got loads i'm not gonna lie tons of them so we had a lovely day in the pool yesterday as you feel i'm so tired it's not good i better crack on otherwise i'm never never gonna get to bed and you know what mm. I want to go to bed. I like sleeping. So yeah, so tomorrow's plan is to get home, have some lunch. And if Jennifer goes off to sleep, she doesn't always, she should do, is to nip up and try and photograph 10 items. I do need to find my box of buttons because I need a button for the east top. Um, and I've got buttons that are exactly the same as the ones on it. I just got to find the box to the bedroom somewhere. Don't know. And I still got to try and find out some cameras. I've got one on the table that needs testing and I've got the batteries for it and I want to put another four so I can try and get them listed. Um, I think I've only got four, maybe maybe four of the cameras left that I bought in carry, which is great. I've still got loads left of the other ones. Um, so I'll, I'll try and pull and battery test some of those. So as you can see, I'm wearing a tape measure. So I'm going to stop waffling because it's been five minutes of me just talking crap. I mean... Oh, rubbish. I will see you all tomorrow. And it's Wednesday. Yay. Morning. It's Wednesday, the 28th of August. Where has August gone? We're almost in September. It is ridiculous. Kids go back to school next week. Jennifer's never out of it because she goes to nursery. 
Um, yeah, so it's Wednesday. Today's jobs. Pick the two orders I had yesterday. That's it. I haven't had any more yet. Hopefully we'll get some today. I did my listings yesterday and I did my measuring. So I've just got to get those drafted today. Plan for today is go to work, obviously. Then go home, make some lunch. Hopefully Jennifer will have a sleep. If Jennifer goes to sleep and it's up to her, then... I will go and take some photos. I want to take photographs of 10 items. Um, so I've got 10 that I can measure uh, tonight, for, ready for drafting tomorrow morning. Um, and then I'll put five auctions up tonight. Uh, yeah, five auctions up tonight as well. And we'll just see how it goes. Hopefully we'll get some more orders today, like yesterday. It was good yesterday. So I'm going to get Jennifer out of the car now and we're going to go into nursery and have some fun, aren't you? You're going to wave. Say bye bye. Good girl. So I packed up my orders. I had two yesterday and two today. One of which was one of my Hobbs cardigans um, for £25. And I'm just about to go to bed and I get another sale through, which is this brown hooded cardigan by Monsoon, which has got a lot of its angle remix. I can't remember what else is in it. And that sold for £25 as well. So I thought. Before I go to bed, I would package it up. So I don't have a label printer at the moment, so I print everything onto an A4 sheet. This one is going abroad via GSP. Um, so I will cut that out and put it on my envelope. I'll show you. The, I got a nice big grey poly bag, and that'll go inside it. I'll show you it once I've done it. So there we are. That's all packaged. Got that address up there. Sending it second class. Oh, no, on the back, it's not my address. Now, had this not been going GSP, I would have sent it signed for. But it's going to Litchfield, so I will just keep an eye on the, the tracking number. Normally, because it's a £25 one, I would put it there. So that's that done. I'll put that by the front door now and uh, put that ready to go out. Any sales that come in now will be posted on Saturday morning. And that's only so I don't have to go on Monday. Right, I'll be back in a second. I'm just going to pop this by the door. So yeah, very pleased with that today. Um, so I've got five going out. I've had three sales today, totaling over £67, including the shipping. So I'm very happy with that. Um, I'm just updating my spreadsheet, <laughs> as you do. Yeah, really good. So tonight we've been watching Who Do You Think You Are, which is a genealogy programme here in the UK, if you're not in the UK. And today it was comedian Paul Merton. So we've watched a few of these. We watched Kate Winslet. We watched Jack Whitehall. It's actually quite funny because a lot of them end up in Wales. So Jack Whitehall's ancestor was involved in the Chartist Uprising and the March and was actually one of the people who went to arrest the legendary Welshman John Frost. Um, oh my god there was another ka -ching. i can't believe how many sales are coming through i'm gonna have to have a look at that one in a minute to see what it is and maybe post it too even though i've just turned the main computer off i don't believe this this is great this is what i need um and today's was paul Merton and his great grandfather or his grandfather his grandfather um drowned in the the glamorgan canal and is buried in an unmarked grave in Katay's cemetery which is a cemetery we have visited and we've had a look round and I'm just gobsmacked by the sale <laughs> that's another one I'm gonna have a look and see what it is because if it's something quick and easy to do I will post it tomorrow <laughs> I'll be back in a minute I'll let you know so yeah that was an offer on address which I have accepted um it was for seven pounds only new look one cost me 33p i think so i've accepted that 33p 50p something like that um and they've paid as well so i will pull it um so but fortunately um i will handwrite the address label just because i can't be bothered to put the computer back on so i just can't believe how brilliant today's been a lot of the metrics are unavailable at the moment which is why it hasn't updated from 6797 which is what it's currently on and it should have it's still showing 67.97 instead of um it should be over 70 pound now but uh, it's not updating properly so i'm not worried about it. yeah saying everything's unavailable can't see my active listings or anything so who knows but anyway yeah i'm gonna go and have a quick look at that i'm, I'm this is one of the best days i've had i mean if i could get this every day <laughs> 
I need to list a load more items because everything's <laughs> being snapped up. I'm sorry if the audio is quiet. I'm filming my phone because it's just easier. I am thinking about buying a vlogging camera. I don't know. I'm going to find this item and pull it and uh, get it packed up. So I, <laughs> I will have to check how much the postage is going to cost me because I've, I've only got £14 on my drop and go account, but I'll have a look now. Okay, so I've packed that last item up. It's over £70, nearly 80 quid worth of sales day, which is good for me. I'm really happy. It's packed up. It's in the bag, ready to go. I've topped up the drop and go account. I've got another tenner in it. So there's 24 quid in. It's not going to cost that much. I'm actually looking to likely to be hitting over £200 profit this month, which for me is good. It'll be the first time. So it is going up and up slowly every month. So I'm really, really pleased with how it's gone. Like I said, I've got Friday off to do a load of work. So I'm looking forward to that. I might try and do some tomorrow other than the posting i'm off to bed now my battery's dying on the phone so i've got to go and put it on charge but i just thought i'd let you know i'm really happy with that just in case any more sales come through i'm actually gonna put my phone on silent so it doesn't wake me up because nothing worse than being woken up by a ka-ching in the middle of the night, or dreaming of ka-chings which has happened before so i will catch up with you tomorrow and i'll let you know if anything else comes through or when it does because I'm so happy at the moment um hopefully if we touch wood and whistle we don't get any returns on this stuff i hope not but I'll see you tomorrow guys. Bye. So it's Thursday the 29th of August. We're almost at the end of the month. I had another sale last night after we went to bed. Um, only a very cheap one but I pulled it this morning so it's going out with all the other stuff today. Um, so that's seven going out. I'm really really pleased. It's been a really good couple of days for me. I'm really happy. At the moment I'm on course to exceed my profits from last month which is great. Not by a huge amount. Um, we're not talking thousands. We're not even talking hundreds but we are talking more than last month. What I'll do is on Sunday is I'll give you an overview. I'm not going to tell you how much profit I've made but I will tell you how um, I've done. I have made more this month than last month. Um, Selling some lower priced items does help because they shift quicker. I've had some good good sales. I mean, I sold one for £4 yesterday. That's the one that came in last night. I sold one for 7 I had two that went for 25 I'm happy with it. I'm doing, I'm, I'm really happy with the way it's going. And I'm hoping that I can keep increasing my profit. It, it, so far, it's gone up every month. Um, people are saying that August is usually a bad month. They don't get many sales, especially clothing because people are on holiday. Um, people have got the kids going back to school, so they're not spending as much money. Yeah, and yeah, I've noticed it's been quiet at certain points of the month. But I will give you a proper overview on Sunday when we do the wrap up of the vlog, because then I'll have all the the information in from the the month, and I'll be able to advise you how much more my profit was. You know, approximately, I will be able to tell you whether my profit was higher than my outgoings which it never has been, so I'm hoping it might be this month. You never know. It all depends. I'm going to take Jennifer into nursery before she has a, a meltdown because she does not like sitting in the car, do you, baby? Yeah, look at yourself. Can you see yourself? <laughs> and I'm going to go and do today. This is my last day this week because tomorrow I've got the day off. Jennifer will be coming to nursery. I will be going home. And although I've got the day off, I'm going to be working because I'm going to be doing some photo in for my eBay stuff. So I will see you after work hey everyone it's a thursday evening and other than posting my items and putting five listings up i've had a break from ebay today um i've done offers to watches and stuff like that but this evening i've been cleaning a few i'll please for my vinyl collection so this one is new by paul mccartney which i had for my birthday from my brother i've got my cleaning stuff i've got my poly lined sleeves and I have loads that all needs cleaning and excuse the crutches some of those need cleaning from the black box set forward so obviously please ignore Ken Dodd that's my mother's so yes I've got that's also not only is that also my cleaning pile that's my listening pile as well all that stuff's got to be listened to as well as cleaned and I got three more today, I've already cleaned those, and it was three Judy Garland ones for my Garland collection, including Garland at the Grove. Um, and I'm just cleaning them, I thought I'd clean a few, I might try and listen to some at some point. 
it's very difficult with the baby running around because she does try to grab everything and our last thing you want is her grabbing records and uh, scratching the stylus across them uh, so we'll have to see I'm a bit tired I'm just having a quick drink and then it's off to bed tomorrow obviously I'm not in work although I am taking Jennifer to nursery and I'm coming home to do as much photographing as I can so I've got stuff to list so I'm going to clean a few more records and uh, see what I can do and then I should hopefully next week I'm going to try and make a video for my other channel which is the vinyl vlog where I talk about music and not a lot of talking goes on there's a lot of showing records every now and again but not a lot of talking there are a few I want to do I want to do my my Madonna albums ranked in order of which one I like the best which one I like the least um, then I want to do my thoughts on her newest album, Madam X. I still haven't listened to that. It's sitting down there on vinyl waiting to be cleaned and then played. So what I'll do is I might play it tomorrow and just jot some notes down while I listen to it on each track. Um, and there's those two. There's another episode of A Stack of Old 45 just to come because I do collect 45s and I buy them in bulk generally. Um, not always, I do buy some individually as well. So that's the other channel, that's the final vlog if you want to check it out. I don't post much on there, in fact it's less than on here just because I just haven't got the time to make videos very much. The daily vlog or the weekly vlog is quite easy to do, just a matter of filming here and there, even though I do forget as you've noticed. I know I'm hopeless. Oh, excuse me, but yeah, that's today's day over. So Paul's had his cast off good news he hasn't got a walking boot he's just uh, supporting himself now he's still got his crutches as you saw them before they're behind me in case he needs them and it still swells a bit but uh, we're gonna try and go out later and see if he's okay but we will have to wait and see I'm also gonna try and get some cameras out this weekend I meant to do it last weekend never got around to it so I do want to try and get the five cameras out and get them listed because it makes a change from clothing and I've got three boppets that need testing Paul said he'd do them for me, so I'll try and get him to do them next week when I'm at work. I'll just bring the three down in the back and give him the battery box and say, can you test these for me? And uh, put the dead batteries, because they're all dead, and whether there's batteries in them, I don't know. If there are, put them in the battery bag or, the ba or a, a, another tub, and I'll take them to the recycling point in the supermarket. I might try and do that this weekend, because I've got a bag full. That's it, really, for today. I haven't had any sales today. I'm not worried about it. I had a good day yesterday. Hopefully, I'll get a couple now. It's payday tomorrow for most people, including myself. Yay! Um, and so much so I have bid on a, another Judy Garland record on eBay. And I've watched a few from one of the sellers I buy stuff, uh, which is Kerry Carter 1976. Um, that's on my personal eBay account, not my uh, business one. So we got a, a personal one as well. But... Um, I've only bought a few things off of there, so it's very limited feedback, but I will keep buying. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to bed. I'm shattered. I'm just going to finish my drink, finish cleaning. Well, I finished cleaning this one. I've just got to put it away. And I'll see you in the morning when I get Jennifer to nursery. In the night. Good morning, everybody. It's Friday. It's the 30th of August. And we're at nursery. So as you can see, Jennifer's ready. Raring to go. It's her last day in mini bears before she goes up to baby bears. Um... So have different sections depending on their age so she goes up to, to the next one on Monday so it's her last day so I've got the day off I'm not gonna keep her off on her last day in the section and also I want to get some work done so obviously the plan for today is drop Jennifer off go back home get as much photographed as possible I'll show you what I plan on doing when we get there pick Jennifer up from nursery have some lunch and a snooze because we always do it in the afternoon don't we we have a snooze and then get some measuring done. But you do need to do some sorting out because um, I'll explain the way I work. I think I've done it before about how I photograph um, when I get there. So I'm going to drop her into nursery now. So I'm back home now and I've got to work through this pile here. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff in the pile there. I've got a cup of tea somewhere. Put it down. I've got my IKEA bag to put the stuff that I photographed in box there is at the right height for me to photograph labels. I just turn this big lamp around. 
So I'm going to go through this pile now and sort it out into some sort of order because today what I do is I tend to photograph bulk items. So we do all the tops, we do in one, or one go. Then we'll go through all the skirts and all the dresses. Then we go back to tops and so on. Um, just because obviously making sure Maisie has got the right sort of outfit on, which obviously at the moment she's got a skirt on. So it makes sense to do tops. When I run out of tops, we'll do skirts. Because I don't, she doesn't necessarily need a top. Although if I've got one, I will leave it on her. And then I take the skirt off, and we'll do the, take whatever the last skirt is she's wearing off, and then we will do dresses. So I'm going to sort this pile out into top skirts and dresses because I know there are a mixture of everything, and I'm going to work through it. So I've pretty much sorted it out as much as I can. There's a pile of tops here. That's a pile of tops there from last time I was photographing. Got tops there. Couple of skirts. This is a bag of dresses just dresses and then I've got a jacket there and underneath it is I think it's a dress but it's one of those that's so short I'm not 100% sure and I've got these bags that have been hanging around for ages so this is a bag of shirts that's menswear and there's some more somewhere probably buried under there and this is a bag of jeans so I'm going to start with this pile over here which has been waiting for ages and I'm just going to work through them and then I'll work through that pile. Anything that's horrendously needs steaming, I'll put to one side and I'll bring the steamer up later and plug it in um, on the landing and steam as I go. Um, I hate having to steam things, but... And I know people. some people don't bother, like Karen don't bother, but I do like to try and make it look as nice as possible. There's a lot of stuff here. I better crack on. I'll see you in a bit. It's just got 11. I've just had a break. I photographed 20 items so far and they're in that Ikea bag there and I've just brought up this three bags and that breath from downstairs now this blue one was already up here but it was really creased so I took it down to steam it so that's the one I'm going to do next I'm just going to sort through these to see what I've got this is all the stock that was downstairs three bags um, one of the items is Jennifer's it's a really nice winter duffel coat by two which is Sainsbury's it's absolutely lovely she's worn it about twice so our plan is at the moment while she's not costing us a lot of money sort of a pinky baby color that anything we sell of hers um we'll put the money after fees into her bank account into her ISA so I'm going to just try and get like about eight quid for it. It's really, really nice. It's, it probably would have cost about 20 quid new. I don't, I don't know. It seems because it was a gift from Paul's mum. I got something else I need of hers. I'm going to list, but I'll probably list that next spring because it is a all in one wetsuit thing. And she wore it once. It wasn't worth buying. But it cost like 19 pound. It's because we were going to take a swim and we never did. She wore it on the beach. So my next job is to sort this lot out there's one item I wanted to try on for myself which I will do and then because I'm not gonna get all this done today um, I will try that on later I've got a few things up up there I've got five things that don't need to go on the mannequin so when I finish doing this around 10 past 12 or when I think I've done enough I'll do those and that's two t-shirts one's a Harry Potter um, one's a Disney um, there's a M&S shrug. I've got a pair. Of, I've got several pairs of jeans, a pair of jeans, and I've got a jumpsuit. And then I've got Jennifer's coat. I've got a few bits of menswear. So I might do some of that just to get it out of the room. You know, when I when I'm running short of time, I don't want to be faffing with Maisie. I can just say what I'm going to do. A pair of jeans. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that, and just get that done. So I'm going to stop chatting, and I'm actually going to sort these out into skirts, dresses, tops. Most of it's tops. There is, I know that there's at least four dresses in there because I bought four lipsy ones or four, there's a couple of lips, definitely a few lipsy. There was either three or four of them, I'm not sure. Um, but they're all really teeny sizes. There's like size eight. Uh, so I'm going to get those out, sort them out. I've got the jacket that I need to do. I've got something that I'm not sure whether it's a dress or a tunic. I think it's a dress. 
just doesn't look long enough to me i'm getting old i'll show you it when i finally get around to photoing it and i'm gonna go this stuff behind me is my stuff that's up here i was gonna sell this dress but at the moment i haven't it doesn't fit me so i should it's a monsoon silk dress i might try and get it up for christmas <laughs> in the next couple of weeks when i do dresses i might photograph it and put it up Try and get 20 quid for it. I know that this one has sold in the past for around 50, but I'm not expecting it. It only cost me 80 in the sale, so. And that was a few years ago. I think I've worn it three or four times. So I've got my money out of it. Right, so I better crack on. I'll see you later. Hi everyone, it's now Friday evening. I photographed 34 items today. Really pleased with that. I had one sale. Um, I sold the vintage uh, Sketchograph. Thing I bought for 50p for £8 plus shipping. That'll go out Tuesday, but I might be able to do it tomorrow, but I don't know. But on the back of that, there's something I'm going to talk about now, and that's um, returns and eBay and why their system doesn't work. They automatically accept returns, and that's fine. A customer has the right to return an item based on UK trading laws, and I don't have a problem. But eBay don't investigate INADs, so an INAD is an item not as described. They just automatically accept it. Now, I have a problem with this because I had a return. So the Hobbs cardigan I sold and posted on the Tuesday. Was it Tuesday? No, it was, it, they must have only got it today. Has been, has been, is going to be returned, which I don't have a problem with. I'm quite happy with that as part of doing business, not an issue. The issue is that the lady said, this was advertised as 12, the label says 10, and it's clearly shrunk in the wash. There is a photograph on the listing of the size label, which clearly says it's a size 12. I also put the measurements of said cardigan in the listing. And if you go to the Hobbs website and look at the measurements, so I put pit to pit 19, which is 38. Good to Hobbs, that's a size 12. In fact, a size 12 to them is 37. So this person is clearly lying to get a free refund, to get a free postage. Now, I will contact eBay to see if they can uh, make sure I get the postage money back because I don't think I shouldn't have to pay the postage for that because it is as described, it is a size 12. It says it's a size 12 on the label. You can clearly see it in the photograph. I'm half expecting to get a cardigan back which has a size 10 label in it. I'm half expecting that this person's returning an item that they have worn and shrunk and they've kept my decent one. I've just got a feeling it does happen. Um, I will be reporting them to eBay um, regardless of whether I get the right one back. Even if I get the right one back, I'm still going to report them because um, I don't think I should have a defect on my account because it was as described. The labelling is clearly visible in the photograph. It clearly says Hobbs and it's clearly got a size 12 label in it. Where she's getting that it says it's a size 10 from, I don't know. The only thing I think is she must be blind. Either that or she bought it thinking, oh yeah, this will fit me. But she's obviously put on a lot of weight and it's too fat. So, like I said, I don't have a problem with returns. I'm happy to accept returns. But I don't like lying scumbags. And this person is obviously lying. Because it clearly says size 12. Now, I have made mistakes and put the wrong size in. It's easy enough to do if you're not concentrating. And with a baby, it's hard. But I know for a fact that that was, has the right size on it. It says size 12. It's in the photograph. I'm a bit angry. Had you not, can you not tell? Anyway. So when I get that back, hopefully sometime next week, I will contact eBay customer support via chat first. And if that doesn't work, I will ring them and say, look, I'm not being funny. I'm happy to accept returns. I understand it's a part of the job. But this person has clearly lied. They've said the label says a size 10. If you look at the listing, you can clearly say it's a size 12. And I've also put the measurements in and I've checked it against the Hobbs website and it is a size 12. It's not shrunk in the wash because it's real wool. It's silk cashmere cotton. You can tell if it's shrunk by the feel of it. It feels really rough and stiff and it's not. It's still soft like it was made yesterday. So, yes, I am not a happy bunny because, you know, to be fair, the postage only cost me 252 sign because it was a large letter. It's not... 
It's not about the money. It's the principle of the fact. You know, I work hard to get my listings as accurate as possible. And I know that listing was accurate. So when somebody comes and does that, it makes me so angry and I am not going to, I'm not going to drop this. I'm not going to let it go. So I will be reporting them and I will be blocking them from buying things from me in future. And I will see if email, if eBay can, apparently they can take the defect off and refund you the postage if they, and warn the buyer that they've done, that they are in breach of terms. Um, but of course it's up to our sellers to report it and a lot of sellers don't bother because ebay always sides with the buyer but i will make sure that i block her and i will put her e ebay um number on all the reselling groups on facebook that i'm in and say block this person they are liars they are a liar so there you go that's my rant i'm done for the day i've just had a shower i'm gonna go put on some um youtube and get dressed and then i put jennifer to bed because she hasn't slept all day she had like a 20 minute sleep in the car on the way home because we popped to mcdonald's and she was asleep from maybe pie corner to when we got home so it's about half an hour it's not long she hasn't slept all afternoon she looks so tired she's so grouchy so I'm going to put her to bed in a minute and just chill out. Um, I was going to do some measuring tonight, but I'm just too angry. I'm going to put some auctions up and I will measure five items tomorrow and get them listed tomorrow. It, it just, it, it's so disheartening. It makes you want to give up. But then you get some lovely feedback from everybody else. If I could just, if I could not do clothes and just do cameras, I would happily do that and certain items break a rack. But I haven't got the space for it and I haven't got the time to sort them out. Clothing is really quick and easy and plentiful. So I will be checking the auction calendar later to see if there's anything on there worth buying. Hopefully that'll be up soon and I can have a quick look. And I'm thinking I'm going to, although I'm going to get this clothing measured and I've still got loads to do i might try and prioritize my cameras it won't stop me buying clothing i'm still going to buy clothing because it's so easy to get up and you know you can turn it over quite quick if you do it cheap enough um but yeah it's just annoyed me um it's a space for the cameras they can take up a lot of space i've got one full box already i've got some in a box downstairs and i've got three boxes of cameras that need listing so i do like to at least battery test them before i put them up so uh, I only would test a camera with film if it was worth a lot of money. So if it's more than £50, so if, if it's £50 and up, I will film test it, make sure the film runs through the camera fine. Anything under that, I won't bother. And then if it comes back, it comes back. Anyway, that's it for today. Tomorrow we are going into Newport, possibly, because Paul, now he's had his cast off. He did come to the nursery with us. Um, we're going to try and see how he goes um round town we're gonna go for some lunch and we'll pop to the shops and i've just said that if you need to sit down let me know we'll go and sit down we'll have a coffee or something or a cup of tea um and we'll just go to some of our usual shops and we're going to have some lunch and then come home and he needs to start building up his muscles in his leg again and next week it's the record fair which i really love yay i love the record fair can't wait so yes, unless there's something at auction I really want to go and look at and then I might suggest we go down to Cardiff Auctions because there's a cafe there as well in the flea market. I have a walk around the flea market and I have something to eat at the cafe there maybe. I don't know. It depends if there's anything worth buying. They want anything for me last time and it's because I'm put off of things like buying anything that's really breakable. I know cameras can break but I kind of know how to package them. Because I've bought enough in my time. Anyway, uh, yeah, thinking about buying a vlogging camera. Though, that might be on a bat burner if I keep getting all these stupid returns from lying scumbags. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Hope you've had a good day anyway, and I'll be fine tomorrow. It's just annoying. If it was just a, a plain return, I would not care. It's the fact that, that they've specifically lied. And the fact they've lied about something that is perfectly visible in a photograph as well has really annoyed me. Because where the hell did they get it says it's a size 10 from? The photos there, I've still got the photos. They're still in my on my hard drive. And they're still on the listing. The listing is still there. It hasn't disappeared. So I don't know. So if I get the wrong one back, I will I will be I will be on the phone to eBay and I will not be nice.
Well, I will be nice because not eBay's fault, but they need to change their policy of accepting iron ads without investigating it first. That maybe a, a, a investigate it, or maybe accept it and get the return process started. That's not a problem. But they shouldn't just leave it for the seller to sort out. They should be looking into why that has been iron added. And all it would take is, oh, this person says it's a size 12. Hang on, at size 10. It says it's a size 10. Hang on a minute. It actually says it's a size 12. This is wrong. Decline the return. Make them do it properly. But they go, I guess it would cost them too much money to actually employ somebody to do a job. Anyway, I'm going to go now and get dressed. Watch some YouTube. Have a cup of tea. Put Jennifer to bed. And do Saturday. I'll see you soon. Bye. Saturday morning and we're in because we need a baby bed. Somebody pulled into the last one on floor four, let's get. And uh, we're gonna have a quick walk around you, put on some lunch. It's the first time Paul's been out since God knows when. Okay, yes, he's got to test his ankle, so it's just a quick test to see how it holds up, isn't it? Yeah. And Jennifer's here. Hi. There she is, say hello Jennifer. Hiya. Let's go. Jennifer's not happy because we're in Starbucks. I'm eating, drinking hot chocolate. Paul's drinking some random thing. What is it? A strawberry donut? Mm. Strawberry donut. We bought her some leggings and a coat from Peacock, which is really nice. And she picked a doll from the toy shop. And we lined them up and said, which one do you want? And she picked that one. You picked it, didn't you? And we've just sat down so that Paul can rest his foot for a bit, but we'll be going out and having a quick look round in a minute, won't we? Yeah. See what we can see. Fascinated by my hot chocolate, aren't you? <laughs> Hi. Say hello. So we're in Nando's, aren't we? Going to have some lunch. We've been colouring in our picture and we're doing all right. And when we get home, we're going to play with our doll, aren't we? Yes. Yes, I bought two tops in Next because I had uh, £30 worth of Next vouchers. Um, so it cost me £32, so I stuck a £2 in. Went to have an eye appointment. There's a new eye test. I think it's slightly going on there. Oh, we've just come out for some lunch now. Daddy's gone to order the food. You're looking for daddy, aren't you? Dad, 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 dad. Yeah, you won't be long. Dad. Her mummy's got chicken pizza, coleslaw and chips. Jennifer's got chicken, chips and sweet mash. Paul's got butterfly, chicken, chips and coleslaw, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Yum. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. yum. Yeah, good girl. So it's Saturday evening, everybody's in bed. I'm going to do a colouring video or two. Got my camera set up. Um, yeah, the only time I can really do some filming that's not the vlog is when everybody's in bed, just because it doesn't disturb them. Jennifer's upstairs asleep, Paul's just gone up. So I'm just uh, moving some rubbish off the table and I'm going to finish getting set up and squeeze myself in. So. I'm going to do a colour and chat and I'm also going to read, somebody's asked me to do a complete book collection of colouring books, which I'm going to do, but I'm going to have to do instalments because there's so many of them and they're upstairs and the light upstairs isn't very good, so I've got to bring them down. So this is the first lot of books for that. Now, you'll probably have seen this colour and chat by the time this vlog goes up on Monday. Um, so I'm filming it Saturday night shattered i'm gonna get this done and i'm gonna to go to bed so we we had a lovely time in newport jennifer got her doll which she chose and then she probably got it out of the packaging she probably didn't like it and as soon as daddy picked it up she got jealous so it's really cute so i'll see you tomorrow on sunday i'll do a wrap-up of the month for ebay i have had another sale today so i've had three over the last two days um i've put all the money that i'm going to from my paypal into my bank accounts so basically that's 
most of my profit, though not all of it. I, I think I was about, although I've got that return coming back, I've got, I was £233 in profit or something like that. And I've put 200 of it in and left the rest to cover any more returns in my PayPal account. So I like to have a good amount in PayPal to cover any returns and fees. But I also put in my postage, which came to £81.80. Um, so I put that back into my bank account, ready to pay for postage for next month. And I also put in the, the amount of money I spent on stock this month, which was only £21. So not bad. I've still got a ton of cameras to list and a load of clothes to get done and photographed. I've had the day off today for me, but I haven't done anything other than send offers and look at what's come through. So I'm going to go and do this video. I will see you tomorrow, which is Sunday. Bye bye. Hi guys, just going to wrap this vlog up here. Sunday, I'm just going to chill out today. I'm not in the mood to do anything much. I'm tired. <sighs> go play oh, my PlayStation. I think I might play Lego Harry Potter or something. I'll let you know what happens when I check in next time. There may not be a weekly vlog next week. Probably won't be because it's just the same old all the time. So I'll try and do some other videos this week. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that and I'll see you all soon. Like I said, I wrapped up the eBay stuff yesterday, told her what I was, how I was getting on and, and what I was planning on. So, yeah, I'm just really tired. And I'll see you all uh, next time. You know, bye.